Well, welcome to the video folks where we're going to reassemble the Shakespeare Dynamic 2173 Sea Fishing Reel. The reassembly of the main drive cog is just a case of cleaning it and then pushing it back in like so. Make sure it fits on the clicker. And that is in. Ready for reassembly of the bearing section which will be next. Okay, to put your bearing back together you basically clean it and then put the bronze slider back on. And then you've got a washer goes on and then this inserts into here and then the plate with its three screws goes over the top once the bearing assembly is in you then put the, the three screws back and screw them down and that's the, the bearing reassembled um, and these need to be firm they don't need to be mega mega tight they just need to be firm okay so reassembly of the, the bail arm lever. Put the spring back like so. Um, you need to get this piece here through the outside of the drum. There's a little hole inside the there and that goes onto the post and is screwed down. And you then need to try and get the spring over this. So you can see from this, this is where the spring hooks over just here. And this is the part which needs to be loose like this so that, so that it can flick about. And um, this screw is a post screw so when you screw it down hard you should still have plenty of slack on this. Okay to put the drum back essentially the drum just goes over the top like so and you have to watch this piece because there's nothing actually holding this from going backwards except the nut which you're now going to put on <laughs> and there's a flatted shaft there you can just see the edge of it there and uh, to reassemble you basically put both washers back sorry the, the single washer back and remember it's left hand thread when you tighten it down so that's it's tightened down and um, this is a 14 millimeter spanner which, which goes over the nut to tighten it off okay so reassembly the slider should just be a case of inserting the slider through um, there's a part here which sits on a little boss you can see the boss there on the plate wheel and this passes through and it also sits in this back piece here and these two screws uh, have to line up with these two holes and then you then put the screws in the holes and that's it assembled essentially so that's your screws reassembled and the reel is now turnable and you can actually see it in action there. Okay, reassembly of the cover plate. Um, you simply put it back on with the screws lined up and then screw it down. Finally just give them a tweak so that they don't need to be very tight, they just need to be tight enough. And that's your plate on. Reassembled. Replacing the bail arm is relatively straightforward. And the spring has a straight piece as you can see there. And it also has a hooky piece which you can see there. So the straight piece just goes into that hole just there. Good and you can see that part um, look at the other side, you can see the other side's got wear on it, so that's the part that goes inside. So we take, now put your finger on the spring there, and we take this piece and hook it over, and it does rotate a little bit, so you've got to be careful. Now we should be in the position where we can get the burla, the other part of the spring, you can just see it there, through the hole, and it's important to get this bit over that side. Okay, and then it snaps on, and you can see it's it's actually on. What you then want to do is you want to choose the screw with the recess because these two screws are not the same. They do look the same, but they're not the same. And that screw essentially screws onto there, and it hides the top of the spring, which is why the recess is in there. And the other side has the other screw, which does not have the recess. And the other two screws do look the same, but they are not the same. Okay, so make sure it turns freely. And then if you flick the bail arm over, it should click, click through. And then it should trip. And then you've done it right. Okay, so reassembly of the clicker arm. Uh, what you essentially you want to do is you put this down like so and it's 
it's best to get the um, remember I'm trying to do this through a camera viewer <laughs> so it is a little bit more difficult than you would have yourself to do this so it is best to put the arm on first and then screw it down and this is um, a post screw so it will go so far and then it will leave the arm slack or it should as long as there's nothing fouling it it should it should once it's tight it should stay slack like so and then we flick the spring onto the post so the way that I have done that is by using a pointed tool to hook the spring eye over the post and that's fairly easy to do because it's not a very strong spring and you should have a fairly freely turning clicker there uh, and that would be oiled rather than greased okay so the final part of the reassembly is to put the uh, the spool back which fits on like that and I guess if you've used the reel you'd probably be familiar with this because this is how you change the line drum and that's that complete Shakespeare 2173 reel. Well folks that completes the video reassembling the Shakespeare Dynamic 2173C fishing reel. Hope you enjoyed the video and look out for more videos there'll be more in the future. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.